Welcome back everyone to Generate.net. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating the latest additional functionality to our children's book creator. Now, this children's book creator is unlike anything you've ever seen before because we've basically made it bulletproof and just foolproof and it's for dummies. Anyone could use this. I'm a dummy and I use it and it works for me. And the, the additional functionality today is the text which is on top of the image and this is completely customizable all the colors and the way the text is displayed and the location of the text is customizable and when you see how quickly you can achieve something like this including an intro page you are gonna your jaw will drop so without further ado let's go into a book that I've already created and then uh, once I finish showing you a book I've created we'll go to then create a brand new book together so that we can see how this is done so let's click on text on image this is a brand new button and when you click on that you'll be taken to a brand new page which we created to allow you to decide where the text is going to go for each image so as you can see I've already added the text on this image but if I wanted to redo this page for example you can decide on some things over here there are some options and so as you can see all my pages are done but in your case they won't be so let's say you want the, the color inside the text box meaning this color this blue color here if you wanted it to be let's say um, let's just say for the example orange and the color around the text box that's the stroke color meaning this orange around here if you wanted it to be for example black and then the width of the stroke let's say you wanted it to be a bit thinner so you click on five and then click start once you click start you will then see that the image is created over here at the bottom and you will see that it's all changed over here as you can see so the reason why this is now showing okay I didn't like that example let me change the color inside the text box to black and the color around to white and then uh, the stroke around five let's try that now and this is how it was before the change and now let's see how we can modify this and make this our own so as you can see now it's white on the outside and black on the inside as opposed to over here where it was orange and blue so this is going to be the default setting up here what you can see over here and this is uh, then you can modify it like this so as you can see the text here is editable so what we like to do is make it that you can fill the box completely now if you want to shrink the box you can actually shrink the box as well that way you can make it a bit more small additionally another trick I like is to fill the page like this sometimes and then uh, you could do this as well but just make sure you don't go underneath this point here because Amazon needs some bleed for images and now that we're putting text on the images we don't want to hit that bleed line because now we can start using PDFs with bleed and fill the entire page so as you can see this is what we're able to do you can move it anywhere on the page once you click apply what will happen it will change to save it will start saving the image and then you'll see this image here will then change to the new one and then it will move on to the next image so this is the next image and now we can start working on this one and it will always continue with the settings you've applied here if you change them you just click start it will then change these options now I guess we're going to be adding more functionality like the font color and the font type and all of that information so that maybe we can have a white box which is quite normal to be honest if we make it white and then we can have black uh, outside and the text can be white that's what, probably what we're going to do in the near future so bear with us with on that one and let's just make the stroke 10 I just like it like that I think it's nicer when there's a thicker outline and now it will just pop up again with a with a with a different color so because this box uh, is, is is this kind of shape so what we could do is make it like this additionally we can make a you know it could just be a bit more creative and make it a bit smaller and put it over here so this is a two page book just for the example and um, that's it so if I just click apply now and then I go to the book itself uh, let's just wait for this all to be finished for a minute once it's finished we're going to go back into the book and you'll see how quickly we can do something like this I know this has taken me a long time but the reason why um, 
Okay, so this is ready now. Okay, so when you're ready, you click on this button here. This will take you to the book. This is the list of all my books. And when you click on this, you'll be taken to the book that we just worked on. So as you can see, I picked this character here out of these four, and you could actually upload your own characters. I really want to show you an example of uh, a book I made with a, a real person, my daughter, my baby daughter, and you'll see how realistic it looks. And then you click, if if this is not working, meaning if, if there's anything wrong with this, like for example, if you click this button and you see that the old images are coming up, meaning without the text, etc., then you do need to click this button here to reset everything. Additionally, in the book setting section, make, make sure you remove um, text um, above image. Just deselect that. We don't want the text above the image. We only want the text on the image. Also, don't forget to create an intro page by pressing this button. This will create an entire intro page for your book. And you can change it, save the changes, or regenerate by clicking this button. It knows, the, the AI knows exactly what's in your book. So you don't have to tell it anything. And it knows the current date. You won't never have to tell it that. So now that we've done all of that, let's start again. Let's recreate this book, regenerate it. Let's hide all the settings and um, prepare the images again. And then we'll hopefully get a different result over here the result we now want because this is what we used to do when we just created the app we put real text on the image but now that we have um, finally built up this application and made it possible to have text on the image itself so you need to redo this and re-prepare the images so let's see okay it's compiling now let's see if it's working now so here's the intro page and then uh, let's make sure we switched off text above images off. Okay, I see all the settings are well done and that's it, it's ready. As you can see, the images are completely ready and your the different designs are all ready. So now that you've seen all of this, let me just show you a brand new book. We'll just do it all together from scratch and um, we'll make a tiny little book. So just for the example, Let's, uh, so for this example, instead of using one of these um, images, which are perfectly fine, I'm going to show you an unbelievable concept of using an image of my actual daughter. So this image is an image of my actual daughter. This is a real life living person. And you're going to see that you're going to be able to create books with people you actually know already, meaning you can really customize books to your liking. You can even make books for your children, to be honest. Um, let me just say the storyline, the baby that hated to go to sleep. Uh, and so we'll make it five pages. You know what? Let's make it six pages and then click on uh, the magic wand here just to create a name. Okay. It thinks this is a name, but, um, and in the end, she learned that it was a good idea to sleep. Okay. So let's, let's let it be a bit more creative than that. The sleepy baby. There we go. I'm just going to remove these quotation marks. And now we have two options, realistic or Pixar. I'm going to stick with Pixar because it just looks amazing. Now, when you click on generate your image book, what happens is the pages are created. Most of you already know, everyone watching this already knows. The reason why this video is important to watch anyway is because the idea of this specific video is to show you the way that you're going to put the text on the images. So this is the point where you're going to edit your actual story book where if you have any wording you want to change, you should change it. Then once you've finished, you click on to generate the images. So you can you have to generate them all at once. And once you've generated them, you can always change them. So let's wait for that to happen right now. And you're going to see how quickly you can turn, our, turn around an entire book, including the entire interior, in under five minutes. It's literally crazy. And you're going to see the resemblance to the image of my actual daughter to the images that you're about to see. Now, just by the way, another function we've added recently is this function here, the eye over here. This is the prompt that was used to create the, cut, the upcoming image. So if you ever feel creative and you want to delve into the prompt, you just click the eye button here and you'll see the prompt for the image that was created. Now, this prompt can be edited and then you click the save button here 
Um, if you change this, you will then see a different picture. But this is the appropriate prompt for this kind of storyline. So really, you don't have to do anything. This is all automated. I'm just sharing this because it's something that for people who want to really make their books perfect and want each image to be exactly what is said over here, they can just delve into this and edit this, click the Save button, and then recreate the image. So let's scroll down to see the results. So as you can see, this image created these images. Now, this is absolutely unbelievable. This baby looks exactly like my actual daughter. Now, that's unbelievable, to be honest. And so as you can see, each image is basically picture perfect and the character is absolutely the same. Now, the next step, once you've created your image, the stories and everything looks perfect, click on book settings and then um, that and then just unclick this and then click this instead now when you click on text on the image we recommend that because we want you to be able to place the text in the location you prefer so to get started you choose these options if i just leave them as default then click start you'll see the first image pop up right now down here and the text so as you can see, I can see this image is quite empty at the top. So what I could do is actually move the image up a little bit and then I could enlarge this. And then I could then enlarge this like this, but just don't get too close to the edges. Amazon doesn't like that. Your book will get flagged if you get too close to the edges, whether it's the top or the bottom edges. And that's it. That's perfect. Once you've done that one, click apply and you'll move on to the next image. Takes a few seconds to process. And the next image will come through. Okay, we had a bug here where the text has gone behind. There's nothing you can do about that. The only way to fix that is to click start over and that will solve that problem for you. We'll work on a fix for that so it won't happen. But as you can see, she kicks her tiny legs and throws her arms in the air. She protests. That's perfect. Let's go apply to the next image. This kind of worked out perfectly. Uh, but still, what I could do is maybe shrink the text a little bit on this one just to make it perfect. Also, it's on the face of the baby, so I'm going to move it to the top here and then put this on top. We'll soon be working on more more uh, fonts so that uh, it will be easier and more customizable. Right now, there's these three options which you can choose from if you're interested. Once you've finished all the images, let me skip to the book. Okay, let me just finish this quickly. So on this one, I'm gonna move the photo up again and then just enlarge this so that it doesn't, sh doesn't show that I've done that. Perfect. I'm gonna shrink this and enlarge it like this. Perfect. That's it, I think we're finished. That's the last page, I think. Oh, there's one more. And this is the last one. Then I'll click apply and I've finished. Now I'm going to go back to the book again and just show you once more how to process it. And then we're finished. And this is going to be uh, one picture per page, including an intro. And then you can just upload that straight away to um, uh, what's it called to um, KDP. So as you can see, this is the first image. Let's click over here to go back to the book. Okay, so this is the book we just created. As you can see, all the images are ready. There we go, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, let's just make sure we've done everything here. Make sure you create an intro page, but you can prepare images while you're doing that. Then create an intro page and just make sure it matches your needs. Perfect, save. That's it, once this is ready, your book is ready. Uh, make sure once this has all happened, scroll to the bottom of the page 
and click on show my book and that's it you have to wait for this to finish first for that to happen and we pro also provide a template file which is a perfect square 8.5 by 8.5 which is one of amazon's preferred children's books sizes thank you for watching this video and bye for now